plaintiff, Tonika Miller, has been married to the defendant for 10 years. But she says after year five, things went downhill. Tonika claims the defendant cheated on her with one of her best friends. However, she now wants a divorce and is suing him today for stolen property. Defendant Christopher Karn says he's only in court because Tanika's angry that he doesn't want to be with her. Christopher admits that he cheated on Tanika, but insists she cheated too. And he can't believe she's suing him over something that happened two years ago. Start with you. Your Honor, um, I've been married to the plaintiff for over 10 years now. After year five, everything just kind of went downhill. I even filed for divorce. Why do you think it went downhill after year five? I just wanted him to like tell me where he was going when he would leave. Like for instance, I would wake up in the morning and he would be gone. Or like I would take a shower, I would come out and he's gone. Or like he's there when I'm cooking dinner, but by the time I finish, he's gone. I swear he's like the invisible man. I was, would like, he tell you he was leaving? No, and that's one he of my just slip biggest, out. Yeah, that's one of my biggest issues. And um, even at night, I just feel like, maybe I'm wrong, but I just feel like a married guy should be in at a certain hour. Unless you're like out with your friends having a good time or something like that, but if it's not that, then you should be at home with your wife. Like, we should be snoodling or something. And he just didn't want to do that. When you mention it, what would he say? <laughs> he was like, I would be like, Chris, would you mind if you could like, let me know when you're leaving the house? Or like, you you're gonna leave everything. or something? And he'd be like, okay, yeah, sure, I'll do that, I'll do that. Why don't you tell me everything? Go ahead, <laughs> give me some background. Yana, the only reason why we in this mess is because she's mad because I don't want to be with her no more. I mean, she's telling me something that was two years ago. Two years ago. I'm talking Were you slipping I'm out in the middle of the night and middle of the day and early in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> Not saying bye or... Well, she always mad. She's always mad, trying to argue, start stuff with me. I'm stressed out. My kids are stressed Where out. Where did that come from, do you believe? I know well, she wasn't like that the first five years, I assume. It just all started from, like, you know, I used to work a lot of hours, you know, be gone all the time. And, you know, and, you know, I guess she was, you know, she was upset because I was never there. But, like, when I used to, when I used to come, she always used to argue with me about, like, you know, because I used to work 12 hour shifts, six days a week. And I used to drive 48 miles out, 48 miles back. So by the time I get back to the house, I'm done. Right. Yeah, that's so a lot I... of work. Did he work six days a week, 12 hours a day? Yeah, during our good years, well, he was a hard worker. I think you might have expected too much then, man. And then, like, go your, ahead. Your Honor, and then, like, when I get you through the door. You should have told her that you were slipping out, though. You may not <laughs> have had reason. enough energy to go and take her out and have you know, such a great time you were investing in your job. All right, go ahead, though. Yeah, but, you know, when I, when I come, back from, come back home from work, you know, immediately I come in the house, I'm like a zombie walking with my eyes closed, and I'm getting the kids ready because I got to spend some time with them, too. Yeah. So I'm getting the kids ready, throw them in the bathtub, then I'm taking them to school, come back home, then as soon as I she walk She wasn't through, there to help with the children? No, I was doing it because she say, I'm, a, I'm not a good father. You ain't a <gasps> good father. You he had to do that you after do working nothing. 12 you All you do is sleep, eat, and, and... He had to come home and do that after 12 Your hours? Honor. He's like... You had to prepare the kids at night? No, Your Honor. He's talking about the, our first five years, we were really good, uh -huh. but they're... The slipping out and stuff? Yeah, I got later? that part. I was just listening right. to him saying that he had to work 12 hours a day, six days a week, and then come home and have the children bathe and prepare for bed. So that's what I was asking. You said that didn't happen. All right, good enough. And you say she expected too much from you in terms of participating in life, a family life. Um, yeah, that is tough. Thank goodness I had a wife that helped uh, significantly. Well, she did most of it. I worked 12 hours a day, or I went to law school while working. That sometime was 15 hours. Did that for at least 10 years. Oh, wow. And weekends I shut down, though, didn't do one thing. You say you did all the preparation mm -hmm. when it Not came to Not all of it, Your night. Honor. He, he wants to be involved. Like, he wants to be involved. I know, preparing people. them, though, that's a little more work. He did it's, not. it's good. Yeah, you can get involved. Hey, come see Daddy. Talk about their school day. Well, let's watch your favorite program. Or um, come show me your homework. Or come show me the grades you got. But in terms of him getting up, all right, let's go. Take your clothes. All right, take these off. Let me start your water. All right, come on. I got soap in my eye. Right, I got soap in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> 
that's, that's a little too much of the man. <laughs> How does he owe you for the stolen property you allege your current husband stole from you? Well, Your Honor, um, during our bad years, the disappearing act, I later found out that he cheated on me with one of my best friends. Um, I chose to How forgive him. How did you him. find that out? She told me. Um, but I ended up forgiving him because I... Just like when I filed for the divorce initially, I didn't complete it because I just want my kids to have a dad. I just really want my kids to grow up with a dad in their household. And I think he uses that to his advantage. Man, don't fall for that. <laughs> don't fall for that no, cuteness there's... over there. Okay, whatever. But, um... You cheated on me, too. After the but fact. But with your good friend, though? It wasn't my friend. Boy, that's and I only did that like out of rage after the fact. This is the only guy I've ever been first. with. My first boyfriend, my first everything. I just did that because I was upset. Um, anyway, Your Honor, uh, even after that, I went and bought him a ring and I said, you know what? I forgive you. Let's just get over this. I just want to be a big happy family. What about like the property? When did that uh, occur? What you're suing about? So after the incident, I. I, we got into a big fight. I was just so upset, and the fight escalated. I called the police. He was so upset, I called the police. Like, they had yeah, helicopters yeah. looking for him. It was a mess, and I just needed a break. Um, we live in L.A., but my Did family... Did he physically assault you? No. Why'd you have the helicopters looking for him? <laughs> yeah. I... She had five cop cars, helicopters... I didn't know they would do that. All kind of stuff. You had to tell him something to, uh, for them to do that, ma'am. Let's get to the property. How does he owe you for okay. this property? So, um, I went out of town. I was really distraught. I went out of town to see my mother in Missouri. Um, my brother was in town, and I gave him the key to look after my apartment. When I came back in town, everything was, was gone. I mean, all of my electronics, big ticket items were gone. And I would question my brother about it, like, how could you let this happen? Like, you have the key, you're supposed to be looking after the apartment. You say all yours. In other words, you brought it before you all were married? Yes, Your Honor. Oh, okay. All right. We were married. No, I didn't, I'm stuff. sorry. I didn't buy it before together. we were married. Oh, and we didn't buy it together. Oh, you referred to it as all my stuff. You said all my. We so are I married. Didn't. Maybe you have We bought a, this stuff together. We didn't buy maybe it together, Chris. Maybe you're a little confused about the marriage. Go ahead, sir. Let me hear your defense to taking what she claims to be my stuff or her stuff. Because <laughs> she let you watch it even? <laughs> so was it all? I had time she to take it to work with her. <laughs> he took it to work with her. Oh, your honor! Oh, he's over here acting sir. like such a hard, hard worker. What do you want to I'm say not to even this, go there with sir? You, Chris. Uh, I did take the stuff. Mm -hmm. I, it's not like I took everything. I left them. You know, I left. Them, you know, it was my kids. I left them on the TV, video game. Yes, I took some stuff. But we married. We bought that stuff together. You know. She act like I took every. Your Honor, if we bought it household. together, why did he have to wait Why won't you divorce him? Why did I divorce him? Why won't you? We have an off and on again relationship mm -hmm. um, after the five years, and I seen how he is when we're together, and I see how he is when we're not together. So you think you might get together again? No, definitely. That's why I'm asking you. Why won't you divorce him? Your Honor, that's what I want to do. Coming here today is me being empowered to stand up and say, I can be a single mom and I can be a good mom and I'm going to divorce him and I want good. the money that he took from me good. so I can move out and just get all new all stuff. Right. Uh, once again, let me remind you, he ain't take anything from you. You keep saying he took from me. Those are joint assets and until you divorce, you don't get a dime. He can't steal from himself. So you get to the judge and you tell the judge that and the judge will determine who gets what and he'll take that into consideration. Judge might say, you keep that old electronic stuff you have and he may give you more money than you're even asking for today. But today I have to dismiss your claim. I have absolutely no jurisdiction over what married couples do. Good luck to you and your divorce. <laughs> He's over here getting compassion, like he's a hard, hard-working man. When he comes to, he sneaks to my house and he eats all of my food for me and my kids. Like I make more money than him. I'm paying all the bills, and he's getting compassion from the judge. Like he's such a hard-working man. He was working hard years ago. None of that stuff he said is recent. It's just, um, it's just so unfortunate that we, you know we we had to come to this point. Like I really just want, I want our kids to like, you know, to get to a certain level. I just want to be a good father. I want her to be well, a good Well, be mother. a good father then. You're not being a good father. You need to go out here and get a better job and get your own and be a good father and stop taking from me.